Hey guys, Double Slip in here, ready to play another part of our Vietnam series. Welcome to any new subscribers, any new viewers, and if you're a returning viewer, I suggest, not suggest, but I encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. If you've enjoyed this content or any of my content, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. That's much appreciated. So at the end of last episode, we liberated Kiguana. So that's cool. So we won that city state emergency, which is fantastic. We hit ourselves another golden age, which is also fantastic. And look at all my choices here. I, I'm kind of leaning towards monumentality, to be honest, because I don't really think that I'm going to be settling any cities on this other continent. It seems like it's pretty well taken. This whole continent is one continent. So uh, which one is that? Hicksunk Draconis. I think it's called doesn't make sense. Exodus the Evangelist. I don't have a religion, so that doesn't make sense. The only one that kind of makes sense is reform the coinage, but I only have four trade route capacity. So I'm thinking monumentality again is going to be the one for us. Uh, we finished building the Diplo quarter. I'm also kind of leaning. So here's another thing that we did last episode. We took Victor out of the capital. I kind of think that was a little bit of a mistake only because um, it would be nice to build a whole bunch of trebuchets, maybe even some some bombards and stuff like that. Um, for now, I think I'm going to work on an archaeological museum. I'm going to work on a temple in here. I want to pick up the consulate. So so let's pick up metal casting so that we can pick up bombards. Uh, we're working on picking up a trebuchet here. We're working on picking up ancient walls. The plans for this episode, I'm hoping to take over the rest of the British Empire. We'll grab Bristol maybe first and then we'll grab maybe London and Manchester. I would like to get away from this with good like not a lot of grievances if I could. Um, we're gonna grab open borders with Dido. I just wanna double check, make sure we have open borders with everybody else. And it looks like we do, fantastic. And also what I need to do this episode is I need to send some scouts, maybe some horsemen over to this continent and start kinda scouting it out. Maybe I just buy a courser from here and I send the courser overseas Oh, you know what? I'm going to need, um, what's that one? Cartography. That's the one. Cartography. So we'll go metal casting into cartography. All right. So that's the plan. Got lots of builders. White Shen's on the way. Okay. Trade routes. Trade with Korea. So now we got four trade routes with four different AIs, making that tourism pressure on them. We'll pick up university next. Start working on our science. More farms. Going to build a little bit of a farm triangle here. It's giving this city a little bit of housing as well. That's going to be helpful. All right. Picking up some incense. Now we got four luxuries in store. Uh, we do have quite a lot of amenities in our capital, but in every other city, it looks like we're kind of struggling a little bit. I should probably see like if I've taken in very many grievances and it looks like so far I'm doing all right. Yeah, there's no, there's no history of grievances and it looks like I'm pretty even with her. So I could actually just piece her out and take absolutely zero grievances for the cities that I have taken, to be honest, but I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking that I want to kind of clear her out as much as I can. I am going to pillage her for 225 gold. Uh, we got ourselves some cotton that we can sell. Perfect. Maybe let's see about clearing this out. Yeah. All right. Courser here. Let's take some shots on this guy. Perfect. Looks like one of our guys got a promotion and it looks like I think I'm going to go in placement. Yeah, I do have the Grandmaster's Chapel so I can actually pick up a trebuchet since we don't have enough niter right now. And I think what I'll do is I'll pick up the trebuchet and leads because that will give me the free promotion. Are we suzerain of Kiguana? We should be. I mean, we did we did rescue them. So I am going to pick up the um, this incense so that I can sell it. And I'll sell it to my my ally here. Put one more farm. Farm triangle complete. Perfect. Giving this an extra housing, which is very nice. Working on picking up a bombard in here. This was actually, uh, it probably was a little bit of a mistake because we automatically rolled over to a bombard. So it's going to take even longer, but it's it's fine. It's fine. I can just per purchase bombards with faith here pretty quick. Actually, we're going to pick up this niter here next turn. But I'm kind of tempted to take 
Rapa Nui. I'm not gonna lie. This city is kind of pissing me off at the at the moment. And it's not really useful to me either. Like, it's not like I want Rapa Nui um, as a city-state. I don't actually like what Rapa Nui has to offer with the... Um, what is that called? What is that called again? The Moal. So it doesn't really do me any favors. Actually, I'm going to grab Suzerainty. Ooh, Geneva's in this game. Well, I'm at war right now, so Geneva doesn't really make sense. But Euthia uh, will give me two era score, and I think it will... There you go. It'll give me a little bit more knowledge. I didn't realize Euthia was down here. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have grabbed Suzerainty of Euthia if I would have known. But oh, well. It, it, I mean, it is what it is, right? We'll just continue to build lumber mills. We'll continue to improve any tile that we possibly can just to make our cities much better all right picking up that niter lovely that's gonna that's gonna make our niter accumulation uh plus four per turn i don't know if <laughs> accumulation is not the word that i was looking for but you know what i mean my 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 niter income is gonna be plus four per turn um all right so let's uh let's see about surrounding the city and uh let's start chipping away at it a little bit um I do have my my strong Voi Chen, my, my Voi Chen that, my, that works really well at tearing down defenses and stuff like that. But I'm at the point of the game where like, um, you know, like especially with war, right? Like I find with war in Civ 6, it's a lot of like micromanagement. I mean, you could always just do this, but sometimes what happens is your guy ends up taking a huge detour because there's somebody blocking their way. I just find like you almost have to micromanage, especially when you're in war. And you know what? It's it doesn't hurt to micromanage a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm using the Sucretax simple UI mod right now, which is like, I think just like a godsend because I, I float my cursor over the city center and it just tells me what tiles I'm working right now. You know what I mean? Um, all right. 90 production. Yep. And I will build a woods there after. So that's going to make the mausoleum go a little bit quicker, but that just helps huge, right? Cause that way I don't have to click click and look, you know what I mean? Like how ridiculous that seems. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, with the void chance, I'm going to step in, shoot, step out. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Micromanagement is, I don't know. I find like it's the key to winning, um, a DD victory. You know, I shouldn't say it's the key. I mean, I'm sure you can win without micromanaging shit. Right. But I don't know. I find like it's, it's the best way to get the outcome that you want as efficiently as you want. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to take a shot, take a shot. Um, this guy's going to take a shot. He gets a promotion, so I'll grab crew weapons, step him forward, shoot, one guy got a promotion here, here we go, replacement, and I'm going to send these two Voi Chens here over to Rapa Nui in hopes to take the city. Alright, shoot, that's what I love about the Voi Chens, I can just step in, shoot, and then step away, insane, absolutely insane. We've got 29 turns left on Sung Wukong, which is pretty, pretty uh, respectable. I'm gonna jump in the water and see if I can bust off a few pillages here. Maybe this holy site I can pillage. We got the inspiration for natural history because we picked up archeological museum, which is great. Uh, we got cartography, which means now we can go into ocean tiles. Let's pick up printing and go into siege tactics next. Granaries done. Fantastic. This city can grow now. And we're going to need more growth So out of this city. So I'm going to pick up an aqueduct because this city will grow in six turns. And then it's going to have another housing crisis. Finished the harbor, buying the lighthouse. Now we can purchase a trader. And we don't have such a barb issue over here. So maybe we trade with Dido. And so I'm going to trade from Huey. Or I'm going to trade from Tracky. No, I'll trade from Huey. We'll purchase a trader. And we'll send him over. Fantastic. And now that the harbor's done, uh, we only had two population. It's fine. I'm going to work on some uh, ancient walls because we do end up getting tourism from them once we pick up conservation. Just continue to rip down these walls. I am going to take a shot with this Voi Chen. Then I'll swap places with him. I will pillage for health. All right, going to step in, pick up this free builder. Thank you very much. Shoot. Step this guy in. Free builder. Thank you very much. And I'm going to put a lumber mill here for some extra production. All right. Plus two our score for picking up civil engineering, which means we got an extra governor title, which is 
Fantastic. And I kind of want to pick up Liang. Uh, Liang's always good to have. I like having Liang. And you know what? The more governors we have, the more uh, housing, the more amenities we get. So I'm going to put Liang into Dong Hui because that is actually, I, can, I guess I should put him in Kang Kwan because that is our second biggest city. And we are struggling with amenities and housing in here. But because we have, what is that called again? The audience chamber. Because we have the audience chamber, we get extra housing and amenities from that. Uh, we lost a card and that was the public works card or the serfdom card we lost. Veterancy is no longer useful to us. We're not really building harbors, but I think what I want. So I got limes in, that's good. Professional army perhaps is the right call or maybe even the retinues card. No, I'm going to go professional army. I I do want to upgrade my trebuchet to bombard all right so let's see what we're gonna do here let's take a shot boom take a shot it would be nice to trade these two over and then pillage ah oh, actually this guy's vulnerable now that might not have been the best idea but oh well it is what it is he's definitely not going to take a shot from the city anymore maybe what i do is i step this guy in front he might have to tank a little bit of a hit we got a trade route in huey now uh, we're going to grab a trade route with nisha and that's going to help us get some more uh tourism pressure we are third in cultural victory we are third in science victory so that's not bad but not amazing um i should talk to some of these other guys and see if they're willing to maybe get rid of some of these some of these uh some of these great works of writing let's see what else uh people have uh this guy he's got a great relic and he's not willing to let go of it maybe i don't have room for a great relic what about you uh he's not willing to trade so what about korea korea's got quite a bit and she's willing to sell one what about two nope so i might run out of space here let's uh let's just take a look see oh i got lots of room yeah i got lots of room people are just not willing to trade with me yet we did take a big hit financially from that but that's all right that's kind of kind of part of the deals you know what i mean you just kind of trade cash you buy great works i mean it's not like i have a whole lot of you know infrastructure right now that, because i've been kind of spending a lot of my time building a little bit of an army fighting a bit of a war you know what i mean sometimes you just gotta you know kind of switch gears and 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 do a little bit of war stuff and and make things a little more interesting you know what i mean like if you're doing like a culture victory literally every single time all you do is you build the same wonders you pick up the same infrastructure you do the same things sometimes it can get a little bit tedious so it's nice to mix it up a little bit. And that's why I kind of chose to get a small map with 10 AIs because I figured there would be, you know, a little bit of uh, some problems, you know what I mean? Some, some, uh, some, some friction, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like I figured, you know, like there would be some issues. So that's why I kind of did it. I thought it would be a fun idea. And you know what? It turns out that we, we've kind of, we kind of did done all right, man. I'm going to run this guy around. I want to use this guy as a scout, kind of scout out the um, the other continent. Bang Long has grown again, uh, and it's blowing people away uh, with that big long thing. Uh, all right, so being disgusting. Let's shoot, 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 and shoot. Perfect. Step this guy over, promote, or sorry, not promote, upgrade. I'm doing that thing again where I just kind of say what I'm doing, which is maybe why the first, or sorry, the second, third, and fourth video of any series doesn't get that many views is because you kind of get to this point where you run out of shit to say, blah, 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 blah. This is what I'm doing. It's not like you guys don't know how to play Civ. It's just kind of a natural thing for me. I just, I kind of slip into it. You know what I mean? So I apologize. I don't mean to annoy anybody. I'm just kind of, I just fall into habit. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I kind of fall into, you know, say what I think. And sometimes it's hard to speak about, you know, kind of real life shit when you're playing a game of Civ and you're in a war because you want to win this war. You know what I mean? So... You kind of think you you're kind of you're you're trying to focus on one thing. You know what? I don't even watch that many Civ tubers myself. Uh, I do watch a couple, and honestly, it really doesn't matter what they do. I just I just enjoy listening and watching to what they're doing. The most entertaining are the ones who are like the most natural. Like they're just the most authentic. You know what I mean? Like they're not fronting. They're not trying to make. You know, they're not trying too hard. They're just being themselves. Uh, you know, having a good time and they're just funny. Like I just, I watch them because I actually enjoy them as people. You know what I mean? I, 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 natu I naturally enjoy watching them do their thing. So <clears throat> I don't know. 
that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at with that. And I don't know. I'm sure I, I try to just be myself, right? Because um, if you're not being yourself and, you know, people don't like you. I mean, I would rather people not like me for, for being myself than somebody not like me for pretending to be someone else. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any fucking sense. But for me, it just did. And for me, it was deeply profound. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so they have medieval walls. They also have a quadrarine in here. They, I'm pretty sure, have Victor in there and they're taking double shots on me. They also have a courser here. I just took major hits here. Um, I'm gonna take Bristol. This is my city now. Keep the city, that's mine now. Thank you very much. Um, I feel like this guy has to run away. Shoot. Get rid of this bombard for a second. What did we just pick up? We picked up enlightenment. Okay, so we're not getting where we're the, the religious tourism effect are half versus our civilization. So that's great. Um, we do have a archaeological museum. So we want to pick up archaeologists uh, as soon as we can so that we can start making um, tourism pressure towards people. Sometimes I wonder if, um, if I talk too much during my videos and sometimes I wonder if I'm talking enough and how to be entertaining and I just think you know what I just want to be myself I want to talk about real shit I want to get you know I want to get I want to get a conversation started you know like we were talking about what was it a couple episodes ago or maybe it was last episode I'm pretty sure it was two episodes ago because I'm pretty sure last episode I just got into that rhythm of just talking about what I'm doing I was talking about how depression is like much higher these days because social media and all this shit technology you know and it's real man and i i i find like that kind of stuff affects me you know what i talk to friends of mine and they all you know like if you ask somebody for real right you go hey man for real and you start talking about this real kind of stuff um they'll tell you man they'll they'll talk to you right and i find like having these open conversations about about life sometimes is exactly what the world kind of needs you know what I mean? Because there's all this like faux pas, like you should not talk about what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I just think that's kind of like the wrong attitude, you know? Boy Chen is hurt. Got to run this guy away. Uh, you know what? What I'll do is I'm going to shoot. Step in, shoot, step out. Anyway, that tangent is done. I talked about that a couple episodes ago. I don't want to get too much into it. What am I talking about here? What am I talking about here? Now, let's think about what the end goal is. The end goal is usually for me. Um, I'm going to kill this guy. I don't know how the city is still under siege. Might be a bit of a, a bug. Oh, I hope this guy doesn't get killed. But the end goal for me, let's do map search luxury resources. And let's just take a look at what we're looking at here. So there's a ton of amber on this side. There's a ton of, not a ton, but there's a couple of olives over here. There is some cotton and some incense. So this, it's going to be really hard to get a monopoly on this continent, I'm feeling. If I come into global resources, cotton, why don't I have cotton? Is this not, is it because I sold it? I don't, I don't understand why I don't have, why it says I don't have cotton. That, that, that part doesn't make sense to me. Incense, I have two out of eight. Amber, four out of 32. Three out of eight olives. So I need one more olive to get half control. And I think you need half to get an, a monopoly if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's right. We will pick up an amphitheater in here and then a university. And then we got a bombard on the way. Great. Uh, come into Leeds purchase bombard so that's kind of the end goal is to is to get a bit of a, a monopoly maybe get um some tourism pressure now it would be nice to be able to step forward it would be nice to get this great general to be honest what was i saying yeah it would be nice to get a monopoly and then that way we can get a little bit of a, some tourism pressure that way as well uh because we're going very very domination e right now and you know what it looks like we're top tourism right now we're still behind but we are top tourism so that's pretty good i wonder what would happen if i stepped here pillaged for faith step here uh oh sorry oh my god i didn't even see this encampment i was gonna step here and pillage the traitor oh my god that was so stupid idiot 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 all right trade route i want to trade with babylon but i can't i want to trade with Mavemba, but i don't think that i can Ooh, I can. Right on. Yes. Got a trade with Mabemba. 
Now we got a trade route with one, two, three, four, five, six of the other civilization. That's six out of nine of the AIs. And we're just gonna keep stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward, stepping back. And I might have to bring another Void Chan actually over here to keep doing the same if I can. Yeah, oh my God, there's a free builder right there. Let's get him. Um, all right, so we finished the Chancery in the capital. We have 14 out of 22 housing, which means we don't have to pick up a an aqueduct or a granary. Uh, St. Mont-Michel would be amazing, actually. Uh, we can use hostels to pick up relics. Yeah, I like that idea. I also like the idea of picking up military engineers. So why don't we, we pick up a bunch of military engineers. We use those military engineers to build the dam in Birmingham. Um, colonialism got it thank you colonial taxes doesn't do shit for us and native conquest doesn't do much for us we don't need professional army we could probably plug in logistics i do like logistics one of my favorite cards charismatic leader is not really useful it's only two influence points out of 18 so we could probably plug that out maybe plug in merchant confederation for extra gold that just jumped our gold up 20 gold not bad not horrible not great but not you know not not the worst right I do want to put an envoy into Nalanda. See, this is where diplomatically would be good because putting an envoy in each of these right now would grant me some extra science, you know what I mean? And it's not like huge on, on the scale. I don't know, man. An extra envoy is an extra envoy. Although I think it would hurt me more not to have that envoy in. So why don't I put one in? And it only jumped me three science, but three science. I mean, that's a library, right? So I plug another one in, 132, screw it. Let's just... Let's just do it. All right, picking up this free builder. Thank you very much, England. And we're going to pick up one more. Although, do we really need any more bombards? Ah, uh, we might as well. Oh, we lost open borders with the Zulu. So why don't I see if they'll take a friendship? Of course. Excellent. Uh, let's pick up open borders. Double check we got open borders with everybody. Open borders. More open borders. Probably wouldn't ba be bad to get some alliances with some of these guys and then use whistle banking, perhaps? Step in, shoot. Step out, right on. All right, so we're just slowly wearing them down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And when I mean slowly, I mean super slow. Got ourselves our very first military engineer. So why don't we send him down to Birmingham to build the dam or help build the dam? Uh, once we get siege tactics, we should probably raise steam power so we can get railroads. I'm going to start looking at seeing what I need. So I definitely don't want to grab a military alliance with the Zulus because they're at war with literally everybody. Um, and keeping that in mind, I don't want to have a military alliance with anybody who's at war with anybody that I like. Looks like a lot of people are at war in this game. And I'm okay with being alliance with, with, with my man here, with my guy, with, uh, you know, Gilgamesh here, but... Everybody else I'm not really interested in. So I'll grab a military alliance with Phoenicia. I'll grab a... Ooh, what kind of alliance do I want? Maybe an economic alliance with the Zulu. We'll grab a cultural alliance, say, with... Do I want with Simon? Or do I want with Hammer... Well, Hammurabi. I'm not even friends with Hammurabi. Hmm. Everybody's at war with the Zulu. Jesus Christ. I have an alliance with this guy. So why don't I grab an alliance with Simon? I'll grab a cultural alliance with this guy. I'll grab a religious alliance with actually mm, yeah i'll grab a religious alliance with our guy here matthias so we got alliances literally everywhere which means we're going to want to switch out whistle bank we're going to want to switch in whistle banking so that we can make the most of these these trade routes looks like we're being denounced by korea because i am allied with the enemy ah interesting so there is potential for war here we might be going to war with korea which actually wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because they do tend to get carried away with the science game so yeah it is what it is i mean if we go to war with them so be it you know what i mean Ooh, we do have another incense here so why don't we pick up a builder here maybe in on coin we start picking up builders for the extra build charge because we have liang here Okay, Merchant Confederation is going to come out. I think I'm going to plug in Whistle Banking because now we have a ton of allies. So we should be getting nice bonuses from those trade routes. 
And I plugged in conscription just so that I can save a little bit of gold. Ooh, I didn't really save that much gold, but I did plug out Merchant Confederation and plugged in conscription and we only lost two gold. So that's actually not bad. Thang Long, I am going to pick up a archaeologist now because we did pick up natural history. So I'm going to prioritize that. I feel like not picking up Hercules again has been a big mistake because we've been building districts. And I mean, that's a lot of production that... I could have been building other stuff like this. Like I could have been building something else. So I feel like not picking up our hero again has been a big mistake. I guess we have been saving a little bit of production because we've been buying traders and 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 uh, and builders and shit like that with with faith. Medieval walls. Uh, fuck, it would be nice to build Renaissance walls, except I don't have limes plugged in. So for now, we're going to switch off of that. I think we're going to pick up a Than or man, what else is there? Can't really. Well, let's work on picking up Sinbad, I guess. Hopefully we can pick up Sinbad. That would be awesome. In shoot. God damn, this is taking a long time to take this guy out. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Builder done in Bristol. Let's get this online. Boom. Excellent. Now we're controlling four out of eight incense. So I think that means we can get a monopoly. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that's what it means. And if that's what it means, then we should probably get to picking up economics. Put our very first piece of art into the city of Hue uh, and continue to take shots on Rapa Nui here. Perfect. Slowly tearing down the walls. Yeah, the or not the walls, but tearing down the city. We found uh Pamukale. Pem Pamukale. Pamukale. I don't know. I have no idea how to say that. Can we grab a friendship? We sent the offer back. It is stamped rejected. Go fuck yourself. Luxury resources. So where do we have luxury resources? Not very many left to improve. Uh, there is actually one up here. We should probably get a builder up here, but we're saving our faith to pick up our hero again. Um, why can't I build this? Oh, so I'm going to come into Birmingham, queue up the dam, put a charge into that. Fantastic. Finish up the old god Ables trade route, which means we should pick up another trader. Now, I know that I said I don't want to use my faith, so I won't pick up a trader. Another great work. Sun Wukong has lived for literally forever, man. This guy is amazing. I really love Sun Wukong. He is incredible. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Sun Wukong up to Bristol. And I think what I'll do is I'll move this guy. Bristol, and I'll transfer him out of Bristol into my fell, and we'll use him to take Rapid Nui. And we are starting to take some grievances with uh, with with uh, Victoria, but you know what, man? Screw it. It is what it is. They brought it on themselves. They started war with us. All right, World Congress time once again. Thank goodness. I'm gonna use. Um, I want. I want myself to be culture bombing, and I also want. We're gonna vote no jade. Chosen luxury gets no amenity, so no jade. Boom. I'm gonna put all of my diplo favor in this because I don't want my shit to get voted down, so I can sell it to the AI. No jade. Thank goodness. Okay, we forced it through. Now we can sell jade to everybody who wants it. Excellent. We'll sell a little bit of incense as well. Beautiful. Theater square done in Dong Hoi. So we're going to pick up an amphitheater. Amphitheater done. We'll pick up an art museum. Oh, we have room for another district as well, which is interesting. Uh, I feel like we should pick up more commercial hubs. Uh, now, where to put it is tricky. Would be nice to put it actually right next to the Diplo quarter so that it doesn't get siphoned from... You know what I'm saying? Because any district next to the Diplo Quarter gets uh, protected by the Diplo Quarter. But I think for now, what I'll do is I'll start working on the art museum or the archaeological museum. I'm feeling like the archaeological museum is a good good bet. So we got Sun Wukong involved now. We're going to take some shots, take some shots. And maybe I can take the city. Ooh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Oh my god, this has taken so long, man. And they still got medieval walls, so at least they don't have renaissance walls. Thank goodness for that. Uh, but man, this has taken forever. 
But slowly but surely, we are breaking down their walls. So we're at 102 out of 200 of their walls. So we're, we're slowly breaking them down. Okay, the most productive city we can trade to is Alundi. And the most gold is Nongoma. So I think I'm going to go with Nongoma. Excellent. 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 Oh, man. It looks like they're building the... What is that? Big Ben. That's what it is. mabemba has got quite the empire here. Uh, 144 science. Looks like we're top science. We're top culture. So we're doing well. Turn 150. Um... Picking up great writing. I was hoping to be done with Victoria by now, but it's just breaking down London has just been such a slow going process. And I'm kind of thinking that it's about time that we just say screw it and we just start placing our bombards where we need them. Now, this is a hill, is it not? It is a hill. So we're going to take couple of hits uh you know what maybe what i do is i wait until we got nationalism start combining some of these guys uh all right rapa nui this has got to be the end for rapa nui here come on a couple shots hit it with sun wukong thank you very much we're gonna keep the city I'm gonna go for lighthouse i want to pick up a trader in here but i'm gonna save my faith like i was saying before here's what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna take london and i'm gonna leave manchester and then that way i don't take extra grievances with everybody else for taking a um the last city you know what i mean because when you take the last city of a civilization um during a domination uh you you start getting extra penalties so what'll so Anyway, in this situation here, check this out. I'm going to do this, do that, and then I can combine the units. Boom. Kill. Excellent. Oh, man, this is easy. We've got motion, so why don't we combine these two? Boom. Bring him over here. Move the man-at-arms. Bring him over there. Actually, you know what? What I'll do is I'll step in, take a shot. Take a shot. Step back. Combine. Perfect. Uh, and this guy here can combine with him. Hoi Chen, thank you very much. Combination over here. All right, we got some combinations. All of our units are much stronger, much less micromanagement, which is so nice. Uh, six envoys, which is incredible. Um, maybe a couple envoys into Geneva. Uh, because we're starting to pick up university, maybe a couple envoys into Nalanda, maybe a couple envoys into Mogadishu for some extra gold. And we do have another governor title, which is nice. I should pick up Reina. We'll pick up Reina. We'll put her in what's our next biggest city. So Dong Hui is probably our next biggest city that does not have a governor. So put him into Dong Hui. I'll put her into Dong Hui. Now that we got nationalism, and we can combine all our units. I think we should pick up conservation. As far as our cards go, we're making a ton of gold. So why don't we plug out conscription? We plug in the limes card because we are going to lose limes when we get ideology, which is going to be coming up soon. So we might as well take advantage of that as much as we can. Start picking up walls literally everywhere that we can. This guy can be used as a bit of a scout. So we're going to send him out and we'll leave these guys close because we don't have walls in these cities yet. So we'll leave these guys close to defend in case any sort of barbarian galley kind of shows up. Ooh, picked up our very first lobster. So that's nice. Extra amenities. Part of the Sucretax Oceans mod. If you haven't checked that out, I suggest you check out the Oceans mod, man. That thing is sweet. Yeah, so we're just slowly picking away, man. Still picking away at the London walls. And man, it has been an absolutely painful experience we are starting to get negative grievances because we're, we're we're just tearing down london uh slowly but surely piece by piece cahokia mound more cahokia mounds uh, another military engineer send him down we got to get this dam finished up in birmingham excellent man these coastal tiles are looking insane i love it man i really love having auckland in my games oh my god they're really going after my my bombard but that's okay um that's all right uh my bombard did survive quite the hit but there you go that's that's what i'm talking about all right let's get the bombards up and close taking shots shots oh yeah slowly picking away and i'm loving it i'm loving it um 
All right, let's pick up medieval walls. Pick up medieval walls in here as well. Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized we have enough faith to pick up Hercules. Thank you very much. We got Hercules back in the his house, which means we're going to want to transfer to Hoen. We'll get this theater square online immediately. We'll start picking up all these districts that we've been wanting to pick up, but kind of been holding off a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that seal tile, man. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. Gotta make sure that we make use of this monumentality as much as we can. We have enough faith to pick up an extra trader, actually, so why don't we do that? I haven't been paying attention to any of the... What do you call that? When you when you have to throw your, your military into the volcanoes. I forget what that's called, but I, I do not pay attention to those. I, I just... It's one of my downfalls, I think. Not my downfalls. I mean, it doesn't really affect my game. But for the fun of the game, I think it would be cool. But I also think that it's kind of ridiculous. Like, really? You want me to toss my fucking units into a, a volcano? Please. Uh, got mausoleum, uh, as you can tell from the quick video that I just skipped through. Oops. Let's uh, step forward. Step this guy forward. Okay, so there's no more walls in here, so that's good. So let's make use of that by tearing down the rest of the city immediately because I'm sick and tired of waiting. And pick up Victoria. Beautiful. Got a medieval artifact. Finish the archaeologist. Archaeologist. The archaeologist. Um, so we filled up the archaeological museum. We got two ancient artifacts and one medieval hopefully we can pick up another archaeological museum uh, we should be able to we should be able to hopefully we can get enough stuff to win a culture victory we are we have nine out of 122 which is not horrible and we're working on economics which is also not horrible i do want to oh yeah i was gonna place some woods here and then or no i was gonna place a woods right here that's what it was i was gonna place a fucking this is why you gotta pin stuff out I was going to place an, a commercial hub here and you know what? I'm going to pick up a builder and we're going to get rid of this uh, Cahokia mount and we will immediately start getting to work on that because I want to get Hercules on that to insta build it. Um, perfect. So we got a trade route. This is actually not a bad trade route. Maybe we get a trade route with uh, Maracaibo. Maracaibo. Plus one error score for picking up scientific theory. Beautiful. So why don't we take a shot? Take another shot. Take the city of London. Finally, thank you very much. I will keep the city and I think what I'll do is I'll piece them out in hopes that this city flips independent to me. So we'll make peace. Uh, I'll make them give me all of their gold. As much stuff that I can get. Maybe some cotton. Uh, maybe some Diplo. Oh, they're not willing to give me all of the Diplo, but they're willing to give me some Diplo. So we'll take it. Uh, all right, London, we're going to fix all of the infrastructure that was one of the most painful wars i've ever had to endure jesus christ i mean i've been playing for a year a uh, year uh, an hour and a half that was a long it just felt like pulling teeth to be honest um it really did uh, so we'll rip that out jump hercules in here jump hercules over to huey we'll get this commercial hub online as soon as we can here i want to get some commercial hubs because I want to get some great merchants and I'm kind of headed towards picking up a great merchant here pretty quick, but I want to pick up great merchants so that I can build corporations. And then when I get corporations, I'll start getting tourism. And then when it's, I get tourism, game over. Uh, I can win a cultural victory. I hope to do a more of a peaceful game now, uh, if I can. Hoping and, and, with that, I should probably start placing some more envoys into Geneva because Geneva gives you 15% science boost when you're not at war. So that's pretty, pretty, you know, pretty good, man. All right, finish ancient walls. We'll go medieval walls. But first, I think I'm going to place down another district. I could start thinking about water parks everywhere, or I could start, you know, I can continue on the path of theater squares. And I'm thinking a theater square here is not a bad idea. Uh, medieval walls. This is why I like having Valletta in a lot of my games because Valletta kind of helps the fact that, so you need walls, right? You need walls for tourism. It's a good idea to have walls for a tourism victory because you get all kinds of walls. 
or all kinds of tourism for having walls. And that's why it's nice to have Valletta in your games because you skip that part where you have to build a shit ton of walls. You know what I mean? Plus three air score for having an amazing commercial hub. Thank you very much. We're making a ton of gold right now, which means we can start buying uh, markets and buying, you know, banks and shit like that. I'm gonna come in here, purchase an amphitheater. Thank you very much. I wanna start picking up Watts everywhere that I can as well. Make sure that I keep the Protestant religion in here and keep it strong. Make sure that they don't win a religious victory though, uh, which they won't, so that's fine, good. Good. Uh, they don't have the infrastructure to win a religious victory anyway. So that's fine. As long as it doesn't get too out of hand. And I hope Phoenicia is not trying to kill. She is trying to kill Cahokia. Ooh, that could be a little bit of a problem, buddy. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, if we got to go to war, we got to go to war, man. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Place some woods here. This is going to make a nice national park. There's a decent one here as well. I like that. So this will be a national park. I'm going to start thinking about national parks. I'm going to start thinking about tourism. I'm going to start thinking about the ultimate pivot here. There is a national park to be had here. Ooh, you know what though? Because this tile is next to this city and this tile's next to this city i can't build a national park because the cities are too close together so that's that's one of the downside you have to think about as well when planning out your national parks is you don't want to settle your cities too close but unfortunately i was kind of forced to because we we picked 10 ais on a small map which is kind of fun uh if you ask me because it kind of gives you this sense of urgency like you're like okay i better settle some cities or else these cities are going to be settled for me you know what i mean i will start moving my army over towards the phoenicia side to see you know maybe we'll go to war maybe not maybe we will i don't know actually there's a national park to be had right here as well excellent 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 there's also no 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 delicate arch no national park for you there is actually a national park to be had right here boom Excellent, excellent, excellent. The Renaissance wall is done in Thang Long. Perfect. Let's build that commercial hub. I'm going to put it right here instead of the campus so that we can get some great people points towards that. I'm going to build the Renaissance walls in Dong Hoang. And we're going to continue to build walls in literally all of our cities because I think it's important to maximize the amount of tourism that we get, um, especially if you're going for a tourism victory. Makes sense, right? Let's think about dams as well in Bang Long or in Kung Kwan. Probably not a bad idea to place one somewhere in here. Thinking one right here is fine. And we'll send the military engineer up here to help out. For now, we're gonna continue on that commercial hub. Yeah, maybe what I can do is I can block block some of their units from destroying Cahokia. Maybe that's what we do. I'm gonna go through, just kind of double check to make sure. Like, do we need any sort of builder? And it looks like in some of the cities, good. Actually, this city here could use a builder. We'll probably use a builder here, so we'll use a builder here. We'll probably use a settler actually right here. I mean, not a bad idea. Looks like our friendship ran out with Gilgamesh, so why don't we pick that back up? Uh, we'll pick up a research alliance once again, and we'll just make sure that we have open borders with everybody. And we do. Let's go right for mass media. We got three envoys here. I'm going to send three envoys into Geneva. My hopes is that we become Suzran, uh, Suzran, Suzran, <laughs> Suzran of uh, Geneva. Farms. So that can grow. We got this seal here, loving it. Get this cotton online immediately. Sell it immediately. Ten gold per turn. We're making three hundred gold per turn, which is pretty respectable. Should probably start thinking maybe about buying more great works off people, like some great works of writing. Thirty gold sounds good. Let's see, maybe I can buy some off Matthias. He doesn't have nothing, but he does have a great relic. Thirty gold. Let's take that. Dino has a few things. She's got some sculptures. She's got some great works of writing. Thirty gold. We'll take that. So that's a hundred gold per turn that we just uh, gave away, or ninety gold per turn anyway. So, so we're probably looking pretty good for our great works. Yeah, we're starting to fill up slowly but surely. Mont Saint Michel. Would have been a wonder that we should have picked up. And I don't think, I don't know if somebody actually did it. Not did it, but built it. Let's go Thang Long. Mont Saint Michel is still available. Let's go ahead and build it. Grand Quang 
is huge and we can afford to pick up a settler in here and lose a population maybe settle another city here i like that idea so why don't we do it continue to surround the city with my guys as much as i can so that they can't take the city and i'll just block as much as i can hopefully they can't take cahokia I really want Cahokia to survive. Not for any particular reason, not like that I care too much about the Cahokia mound, but I just, they're my suzerain. Have to get rid of that lumber mill. I'm gonna have to chop that up. Put some woods on there. I'm gonna get this guy involved. Excellent. How are we looking here? So we're looking pretty good as far as our heal. Build the dam here. Uh, I will continue to build the archaeological museum in here. Um, and we'll put a farm triangle right here. I am going to have to pick up some more military engineers. Unfortunately, we're building the Mont Saint Michel, so maybe picking up a barrack somewhere else. Concoin is where it's at. Barrack, we're going to pick up an armory in here. We'll start building some um, military engineers in there, and then we'll start using those military engineers to build the rest of the dams because we're struggling, man. We're we're getting hit by floods literally all the time literally all the time uh did we lose choose a route okay so we didn't lose nothing so that's good so we'll continue our trade route with K korea build that holy site i feel like i should build the city right here with a harbor and then build a national park yeah that's not a bad idea let's head over there and do that working on mass media we do want to pick up the crystal red and tour Concoing. i'm gonna queue up the dam put a turn into that continue on the commercial Commercial hub. Let's save up our gold so that we could pick up an armory. Another copy of lobster. Why don't we sell that off? 10 gold. 10 gold. Thank you very much. Man, those tiles are looking beautiful. I really like the mausoleum. 110 production. Insta build the Renaissance walls, or sorry, the medieval walls. Going to start building the Renaissance walls next. Going to take advantage of the limes card as much as I can right now. Looks like Song Wukong has passed. Oh, well, a couple of envoys or one envoy to Geneva, giving me suzerainty of them, boosting my science. Uh, we have good science right now, which is not bad. Uh, hopefully we're going to be coming close to picking up a great merchant. Looks like we are falling behind, not falling behind, but we're not making as many points as others. You and I come by road. What can I do to help boys? Uh, we're going to block here. This guy here, I got my man at arms here. So if this guy dies, I can step in, step in. And then we're completely surrounding Cahokia. Then they can't take the city. I'm going to build an armory here and we'll start working on picking up a bunch of military engineers next making 250 gold once again so why don't we start looking uh start Brian, seeing where we can find more great works of writing or even some relics oh you're not selling your great relics god damn it what about great works of writing hmm so why aren't you selling relics uh if i look at my great works i do have works for i do have room for them um but he's not he's not selling them which means he's worried so I'm going to take writing off him. Simon has an epic and he's willing to part ways for 13 gold. Actually, that's a great deal. Thank you very much. Movemba might have a couple things. Oh, and he does. Religious. 22 gold. Hmm. I feel like I should pick up great works of writing where I can. And I will. So 30 gold. So we just we just gave away a bunch of gold. So that's okay. Uh, I'm going to continue to chop out this maze because I, I don't really have much use for it. We are working these coastal tiles in Rapa Nui. So we might as well take as much gold as we can. And I'm going to continue to plant woods, make the make the appeal look a little bit better. Not a little bit better, but just, just to improve the appeal in my empire as much as I can. Uh, improving the appeal improves the amount of tourism you get in national parks. We never ended up getting Sinbad, did we? We, oh, we're still working on it. Thank goodness. Uh, our very first great admiral. I think it was our very first. Okay, so we got an archaeological museum. Uh, we're going to save up gold for an archaeologist, I think. Because I think an archaeologist, 19 turns. Yeah, that's a really long time. I'm not willing to wait. So I think what I'll do, uh, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to go for the medieval walls. All right, got our very first uh, I think we get the enough gold for our very first naturalist, so we're gonna pick that up. I definitely want to swap tiles. Why can't I? Why can't I grab this tile here? Am I not able to? Yeah. So I do have. Okay. So here's what I do. So I grab a couple tiles with the city, then I come back to the city and. Why can't I build a national park here? This is so weird. It's so weird. Do I not have the appeal? 
Oh, I don't have the appeal. Maybe what I do is I grab all of the tiles. Yeah, build a national park here. And then I'll try, I'll see what I can do about improving whatever I can. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to rectify that. That sucks. That really sucks. Da -da 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 -da. Build an armada out of a unit. Oh, I got the perfect unit down here. All right, looks like our musket man has moved. So I'm going to step... This Void Chen in the way. We got one more guy that we need to step in the way. And then we got the city completely surrounded. They can't take it if they want to. Unless they go to war with us. Uh, university done. Let's go for the ancient walls in Bradford. And go for the renaissance walls. Continue to build walls. Literally every single city that we can. We'll tear out this marsh. That makes this tile look a lot better. So then we could build a national park. We do have a trader available here. And we have a couple of routes that we can pick from. And we got to think here. Where do we need a trade route? Well, Babylon would be amazing. And we have Babylon trade routes available so we'll trade with him and then we have another trade route here hmm who do we not have a trade route? so we got a trade route with him her him Mavemba yep and Simon so we got we got trade routes on every civilization on this continent so maybe what we do is we transfer do we have one with Dido we do have one with Dido. Do we have one with Matthias? I don't think we have one with Matthias. So why don't we check that out? Hungary can't trade. Um, so we'll transfer to track you. Maybe we can trade up this way. And it looks like we have room for a couple more trade routes or one more trade route anyway. And who else do we need to trade with? I guess that would be it. Oh, England. England. Uh, trader. Paper. All right, we got mass production, which means we can build the Crystal Red and Tor. I am going to retire this guy, turning this guy into an Armada, giving me two era score and giving me that Golden Age. So now that we got mass media, that gives us another governor title as well. We're going to go for mobilization for that next governor title. I will pick up Amani and I'll put Amani in one of my bigger cities. And that will be, so we got one in Dung Ho, Thang Long, Quang Ko. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Bradford, Leeds would be good. Uh, actually, Leeds already has one. London. We'll put one in London. Why not? Get the city growing. I guess we could pick up Canticle next era. We probably should have hung on to that, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. All right, we just made that look better as well. So that means we can build a national park there. This works for me. So we're going to leave it and trade with them. So now we get a trade route with literally everyone on the map. Placing our very first national park. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, settling our... First city on this continent, giving us an extra three arrow score. I probably could have waited until this arrow is done, but I just want to get this going. I'm going to pick up the builder in here to get the city going. I will place down a few pins so that I don't forget. And that means that this will be a national park here. Perfect. Now we'll start with a granary. We'll place down a harbor here, plus five. Excellent. But we'll start off with the granary. Matter of fact, what I could do is I could just purchase the old god obelisk, purchase the granary. And we'll just get started on the harbor. For our very last trade route, I thought I had a trade route with everybody, but I didn't. Um, but now I do. And I got one with Manchester. So I got a trade route with every single AI in the game. Making tourism pressure against everybody in the game. I'm defending Cahokia still. And the world enters the industrial era. We have entered a golden age. Kind of leaning towards Heartbeat of Steam, to be honest. I'm also leaning to, towards Reform to Coinage. I think Reform to Coinage would actually be what's best for us. Because when I look at my campuses, they don't have a ton of adjacency. Um, some of them do, though. But uh, I think I'm going to leave it till next episode. So I think that I'm going to call that the end of the episode. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button button and leave me a comment and if you want to see more videos like this and you don't want to miss out on this kind of content hit subscribe thanks bye